Hello, my name is Amy Ecker. Welcome to my channel. So today we're using this bad boy from Tarte. It is absolutely stunning. I've almost used basically a row and a half to create this eye look. The colors went on, spoil alert, really good. I would say out of 10, I would give this box a 10, so a perfect score. Everything in here works really nice together. The color combinations are spot on. They do a great job at kind of lining up the colors for you, so it's not like you have to kind of pick and choose. Um, I've seen some color palettes where the colors are all over the place. And for most people, that might be overwhelming. So the fact that they group colors in by line is really, really nice because it does take down a lot of the guesswork. So for me, I was, you know, looking at these different, the top three rows, and I feel like I've done colors like that in an eye look maybe recently, um, even with another one of the Tarte palettes, uh, some of these purpley kind of colors, I did a look with it. So anyways, my eyes gravitated towards the champagne, gray, black, and blue. I haven't seen a lot of grays or champagnes, a really good, pretty champagne in most of the eye palettes out. So A, I have to give Tarte um, props for going outside of the colors that are really popular right now by adding some grays and that champagne color is really, really pretty. So when I was looking down here, my eye was drawn to it because again, I've done a lot of looks recently with the top three lines um, with Tarte and other colors and I just wanted to try something new. I really liked how this teal color called Antique kind of blended nice with Sublime underneath for a really soft but yet pop of color to go with the champagne and the grays. So again, I give this palette a 10 out of 10. I do like this a lot. I can see myself gravitating towards it because it's got everything that's cohesive in just one quick grab. And on a, on a morning where you're going a million miles an hour, who doesn't wanna just grab one thing and not have to think about what kind of color combinations you're putting together? So props to Tarte on this one. I really, really like this one. I actually like this one better than their other Christmas collection that they put out. Um, the sister to this palette, I like this one better. So anyways, um, if you want to see how I created this eye look, you're in the right place, so stay tuned. Okay, so now it's like December, maybe 5th, and I'm just now getting into one of the Christmas collections that I've had for mm, two months. Maybe not quite two months. But we're gonna get into this little gem right here. I mentioned this in one of my previous videos, how I love the box, how it really has a great closure. So we're gonna get into this and create some kind of look. Oops, let me pull off that paper. Maybe we won't get so much backlight. All right, we're gonna create some kind of look with this. Um, I'm kind of gravitating towards these bluish grays, to be honest with you. This bottom row here just like kind of speaks to me. Because a lot of palettes have these colors. I don't know, that, maybe that speaks to me. Maybe these five speak to me. All right, let's, let's go ahead and do these five and we may pick up these on the bottom lower lash line. All right, so we're gonna start with the color Getaway. I like how I wasn't sure, and then the more I talked to y'all, I kind of figured out what I was gonna do. It's amazing what happens. Okay, so we're picking up this beautiful color called Getaway. And you know, I kind of need a Getaway. It would be nice to have my life settled finally so that I could take a vacation and I could get kind of out of town and be with friends and family. At the end of last year and this year, I just haven't, I've not had a chance to do that. So I think I'm ready. Okay, I did not use an eye primer on my eyes. I just used the, my normal foundation and the eyeshadows are going on nice. Very pretty color, but to be honest with you, I've just, because Tarte has such great products, I just expect them to always perform. 
All right, we're gonna go into the crease a little more with this color called Desert. I'm gonna pick out my favorite flat, flat, br <laughs> my favorite flat, fluffy brush. It's by Makeup Geek. It's called the Foiled um, Eyeshadow Brush, and they have had some great sales for the 12 days of Christmas, and so their brushes are on sale, and so yeah, I had to get all up in that because I love these brushes. They by far are the best brushes I own. They, I've got one that had a maroon kind of handle. I'm not even sure how long ago I bought it, but I've rubbed the writing off of it and the, however the brush, the actual bristles still look brand new. Her brushes are by far the best. So this color here that I'm picking up is called Lavish. And I'm going to pick up now a Morphe M321 brush and pick up the color Sublime. And this Sublime is going on really nice. It's pigmented. And do you guys ever have one eye makeup side you do higher than the other? For some reason, this side always goes higher. I don't know what I do different, but this side always looks like a flat tire in comparison. I don't know what I do. I don't know what I do. Okay, so I'm going to pick back up the color actually before I do that. I'm going to pick up a clean brush and just kind of blend these colors together and soften any edges. Okay, and then I'm going to pick back up the M433 brush with some Getaway. And again, kind of going over that edge there and just kind of softening and adding back a little bit of that color kind of carve out a little bit of a maybe half cut crease so to speak with I'm going to take some wonder to powder on a flat brush and just kind of dry that down a little bit before we actually put our color on and now using that same brush, but the other side, I'm going to pick up this pretty color here called Brooch. It's kind of like a champagne color. We're going with champagne. And who? Camera went dead. But I caught it in time. Okay, so now we have this little thing called Sex Kitten. I'm not sure what this is. And it's magic. Okay, we found out how to open it. Okay, it's a little eye pencil. There you go. I didn't need to thrive. I just had to figure out how to open up this bad boy. Okay, so that went on nice and easy. Um, I think I'm going to use this color here it's the tardiest lip paint. I'm not sure what color that is. It only has a few letters at the bottom. So I'm gonna first start with a lip. I'm gonna first start with this color from L'Oreal. It's called Toffee. I don't know why I keep bouncing between my eyes, my cheeks, my eyes, now my lips. I just bouncing all over the place. Oh, look how cute! That is so tiny! Oh my god, that is adorable. Okay, so that is a nice neutral color. Um, we do have a little mascara in here. We'll try that also. Man, they, they've got these little suckers like locked up like Fort Knox. Look how cute that is. That's tiny too. 
either that or I don't understand why I have zero strength. So this little wand is doing good separating the eyelashes. They're not clumping. Okay, so my bottom lashes look amazing. My top eyelashes, I think for this look, we still need some false ones. So now I need to find some false ones. Okay, while I'm finding false ones, I'm gonna throw on my makeup finishing spray. I really need my makeup to hold up today. I'm gonna be on the road for work. Okay, I'm not even sure where I got these eyelashes from. So this should be interesting. I've never used them before. <laughs> They're so cute, look. I just pick up eyelashes sometimes randomly and then I forget, like if they're not my set jam, I forget where I get them. And my set jam is usually Ardell or, drawing a blank on my other one. I am using the Tardius Pro Glue. That one seems to not bother my eyes. For whatever reason, um, some of the ones that I get at the drugstore light up my eye. And it's only one eye, which is weird. But I wouldn't expect anything other than weird for me. All right, let's see how these babies do, because I've not used these kind before. Wish me luck. Okay, so these did not go on easy. Let's see if this one does. They're, the band seems to be pretty stiff, and my eye has more of an arc and not flat. So getting the sides put down so it doesn't stick up like that seems to be my little challenge. Where my Ardell's or whatever the other brand is I like to use that I forget the name. Doesn't seem to give me this much trouble. All right, let's hope for the best while those dry. I'm gonna go do my, fix some, do something with my hair. And Thank I'll be you right so much back. for watching this video using the Tarte Christmas Collection. I really, really like this little bad boy. Besides being absolutely cute, like a little box of jewels, it actually performed amazing, like always. So I did do this grayish, bluish kind of eye and really enjoyed it. I'm not sure what color the lip is in here. Love it. It's like the perfect natural, not natural, neutral color. So let's dig into this little box. So A, I love the, the jewel on top. It's pretty. And to be honest with you, I love the outside of these boxes so much better than the like 60s, I don't know what kind of vibe it was last year. It was kind of a paint collection, but it was really 60s. I felt like I needed go-go boots. I don't know. The outside of the package just wasn't as pretty as this year's. But anyways, let's dig into this. So it's got this nice closure here and you open it up and oops, the little eyeliner came out. So you open up this little box of jewels and oh my gosh, look how beautiful this is. So I use these colors down here and really, really liked how they blended. I liked how they're kind of a little different than some of the recent boxes. A lot of these up here, you know, I kind of used over the last couple weeks. So when I saw this gray champagne bluish color, um, combo I just felt like I needed to do something that was a little different than some of these others that have been in multiple boxes these are you know the kind of jam colors for this year but I really really like them putting in some gray and some champagne and this kind of teal ish color but it it works well with the grays and the champagne I don't know I just can't say enough about this box. I also use these two colors down here. So really almost two, two levels of colors. What was great is I just wasn't sure what I wanted to do and I just started playing. And by playing, I created this. And so I really liked how this antique color went up underneath here and then just really glided well into the sublime. I used this as a bronzer and this was my cheek color and my highlight. So I used three out of the four there. Um, I used this lip color. I did use the mascara and the eyeliner. So basically I, I tested everything in this little box and love it. I absolutely love it. 
The, the mascara is, um, does a great job fanning out your eyelashes. I wouldn't say that it's a thickening mascara. So even after two coats, my eyelashes look good spread out, but they weren't really thick. I like thick eyelashes. So I did pop on some um, false ones, just so you guys know. But hands down, I really, really like this little package. So anyways, have you used this? What's your favorite colors? What do you like? What didn't you like? I'm dying to know what your thoughts are on this. I'm just kind of disappointed in myself that it's taken this long for me to use it, to be honest with you, because again, it's just a great palette with all kinds of goodness in it. So anyways, I'm just disappointed in myself that it took this long and I've had it sitting on my desk forever. So anyways, um, please leave your comments or thoughts below and I look forward to talking to you soon.